Now at 6.30 on WKYT This Morning, Kentucky is under a statewide emergency declared by the governor after a massive winter storm has pounded the Commonwealth. Treacherous travel out there for this morning and going throughout the day too now. We'll try to get those roads cleared off just in time for another snow overnight and into tomorrow. Show you how much you can expect coming up. It's not just on the ground where commuters having problems. An update from Bluegrass Airport ahead. And the snowstorm forced the Kentucky Wildcats to alter their plans ahead of tonight's big game against Tennessee. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you. We're so glad you're with us on WKYT. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. It is another first alert severe weather day. Millions of you digging out from this historic storm. Right here is the uh, Lexington Herald Leader statewide emergency, and that's uh, what we've been saying the governor declared. It's very slow going for many people this morning. We want to take a live picture outside right now, show you what drivers are up against this morning in Lexington, where we officially picked up just over 10 inches of snow yesterday. There's about a foot or so in Madison County and some areas. More snow now and dangerously cold temperatures are on the way. Let's begin with WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris in our first alert weather center. Micah. And you know, you saw some of those roadways. You can already see some of that pavement and also even the dotted lines in some locations. So these streets and road crews have done, in my opinion, a phenomenal job. Now, the neighborhoods are still snow covered big time because those are just low priority roads. The main priority, they're getting it together. They still have a long ways to go. Don't get me wrong. There's still snow on the roads. Treacherous travel, but they have really been knocking it out the past several hours. So just be realistic. We picked up roughly a foot of snow yesterday. Be realistic. There's still going to be snow there on the roads. Minus five there in Frankfurt, minus five in Mount Sterling. It's really, really cold this morning because of that snowpack there on the ground and clearing the skies. 20 degrees this afternoon. You better bundle up the next several days. It gets way worse than that. And I'll show you that in your seven day forecast. Extreme wind chills coming up. Okay, see you then. Well, needless to say, it's another tough morning in the bluegrass. Hundreds of schools, universities, government offices closed today because of, of course, this massive snowstorm we've been dealing with. And now, as Micah was saying, we're shifting the focus from the snow to this bitterly cold weather that is headed our way. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live in Lexington where some shelters are at capacity this morning and she's updating us on the roads as well. Good morning, Hillary. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Roads are still in pretty rough shape out here, but you can tell the snow plows were able to make some headway on some of the main streets like this one here behind me. However, side roads like the one where I am standing are still just covered with those several inches of snow we received yesterday. And with these bitterly cold temperatures, that snow is not going anywhere anytime soon. Since Sunday at midnight through about 3.30 this morning, Lexington police have responded to 44 non-injury crashes and five injury. They also have helped out with 460 motorist assists. The cold temperatures are also packing local homeless shelters. All organizations we have spoken to are at capacity. The Hope Center filled up yesterday. However, they were not turning people away. Instead, they sent them to a local church, and that church is now also at capacity. Volunteers hope that means there is no one left out here in this cold. Once again, officials are asking folks to just stay put today, not just because of the rough road conditions, but also just because of how cold it is out here. I can tell you it is. It is much colder than it was yesterday. Thankfully, there's not that wind and snow flying around, but it is definitely cold out here. We're going to check in with Lexington Fire Department later on this morning and see if they've had to respond to any cold weather related emergencies. For now, live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. All right, Hillary, thank you very much. And of course, both state and local officials are urging people to stay home if you have that option. If you have to go somewhere, we have a team of reporters out there this morning keeping us alert on what you'll be facing. And let's go to WKYT's Mike Linden now in Lexington with a first hand look at the road conditions and the efforts to clear things up. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Right now on North Broadway, heading toward New Circle Road. And like we've been telling you all morning, the, the main roads look a lot better than the local roads, that's for sure. And, of course, with people that do need to drive that are heading out to work, and the traffic is now starting to pick up, which on the local roads is making things rather difficult, especially considering that we are still seeing quite a bit of snow on those local roads. If you have to be out on the roadways, and like we've told you, city officials saying to stay home, if at all possible, but if you do have to get out onto the roads, 
it is certainly a good a good idea to give yourself plenty of extra time to get to where you need to go. So if you're expected to be at work by 9 o'clock, leave rather early to make sure that you get to work on time. Those roads still a bit messy, especially locally, but it looks like you shouldn't be running into much trouble on the main higher priority roads. Live in Lexington, Mike Linden, WKYT. Well, thank you so much, Mike. People headed out to Kentucky airports today should check on the flight status, of course, before leaving. Most flights out of Lexington's Bluegrass Airport were canceled yesterday because of heavy snow across the state. Another dozen or so flights are canceled again this morning. Well, communities to our north got not quite as much snow, uh, but this storm still packed quite an impressive punch there. We sent our Mark Barber out to Georgetown to track the conditions at that location. Mark, how was the drive up? Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Well, the drive up here was very slow going. While the road conditions are improving a little bit, there's still a lot of snow on the roads, making it very difficult to make your way anywhere quickly. Now, the good news for drivers here in Georgetown this morning is that they are going to see road conditions much better than their neighbors to the south. I started driving um, from our studios on Winchester Road just off of I 75 there in Lexington, up here to exit 126 in Georgetown, and I could tell an immediate difference once I crossed over from Fayette County into Scott County. On I 75, just north of Lexington, there on the interstate, there were cars stranded on the side of the road, 18 wheelers on the side of the road. People had their emergency blinkers on. The interstate really was, for the most part, still packed with snow. But here in Scott County, I was able to see patches of the interstate, and there were snow plows moving what was left of the snow on the interstate over to the side of the road. So conditions here much better. However, I was driving about 40 to 50 miles per hour most of the way. So if you do have to head out the door and get, head to work this morning, you will want to plan for some extra drive time. Now, side streets. Are a different story than the interstates. Those are still in very bad shape. In fact, if you don't have four wheel drive, it might be difficult to get out of your own driveway. I know I couldn't. I had to rely on a coworker to get to work this morning. So if you're looking at any sort of hill or you don't have a truck, SUV, you may want to think about asking a coworker to help you get to work this morning. Um, but we'll continue to track the road conditions out here, especially as the temperatures drop, because things could get icy. Of course, we'll have the latest for you here and on our website. Live in Georgetown, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, Mark, thank you. And down in southern Kentucky, people have had to deal with a little bit of everything as far as precipitation. There was snow and ice uh, that have continued to give drivers a tough time out on the roads. WKYT Sean Moody continues our weather team coverage now, and he is live in Corbin. Hey, Sean, good morning. Well, good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Here in Corbin and across southern Kentucky, the snow totals weren't quite as high as they were in central Kentucky because the precipitation switched over to sleet for quite a while yesterday afternoon, but there are several inches of snow here on the ground causing trouble. I'm at a hotel, and several of the people staying here said that they don't live that far away. It's just that when they got off work, they couldn't make it back home, so their employers put them up here. Now, Kentucky State Police said they hadn't worked any major accidents in the area since yesterday. They said most of the accidents were just fender benders or people sliding off the road. They asked people to stay off the roads unless they absolutely had to be out, and it seems most people did just that. Here in Corbin, the storm shut down a lot of businesses. Last night around 7, there weren't that many restaurants open. There's a Hardee's nearby that was just absolutely slammed because it was the only place still serving food. Plows stayed busy throughout the day clearing roads, but as soon as they went back through, it seemed like that snow and sleet just covered them right back up. The road supervisor here in Corbin said they planned to be out until midnight last night. Where I'm standing is not too far from the interstate. Over the past half hour or so, I've seen a couple of plows heading up and down the interstate. Uh, also, several semis and even some, some regular smaller vehicles seem to be heading up and down the interstate. Uh, I'm at exit 29, and uh, things seem to be moving okay there. I don't believe they're quite going all the way up to that 70 mile per hour speed limit. But they're certainly not moving at a crawl either. Now, of course, the governor issued that state of emergency and requested that people stay off the roads if absolutely necessary. If you do have to be out here on these roads, make sure you're careful. Live in Corbin, Sean Moody, WKYT. All right, Sean. Thank you very much. Glad you had the hardiest down there, by the way. With the uh, sub zero temperatures in the forecast now, state officials are reminding people about the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. The Cabinet for Health and Family Services says the biggest risk comes from improper use of heating devices. Federal officials say you should not use a generator, a grill, or a camp stove inside. Also, don't run your vehicle inside a garage even with the garage door open. We have to be smart in situations like this. And with all this winter weather, it's a good night to just stay home and cheer on the Wildcats. Why not, right? <laughs> the Kentucky Wildcats in Knoxville this morning getting ready to take on Tennessee. WKOT's Brian Milam is here now with a preview of the game. 
But nothing has been able to stop this Kentucky basketball team as they have equaled the best start in school history at 25 and 0. And the winter storm that has rolled through Kentucky has not stopped UK from getting to Knoxville. They left a couple of nights ago. Coach Cal was up in New York City for the All Star game and he was able to make it into Knoxville. It's an inconvenience, but most of this group has been through it before, like the ice storms in Dallas last year, Baton Rouge. The secret keep them moving, as in two in practices in one day. But if I let them go all day and they're going to sleep and we get up to eat and they go back to sleep and then they sleep all night and they get up for breakfast and go back to sleep and then we go to a shoot around and come back to sleep, we will be sleepwalking in that game Tuesday. So we're going to come back and practice later today, probably 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, have a great meal, let them lay around, have a meeting, and try to get back to the rhythm of what we do. But, yes, I'm a creature of habit. I'm... I'm Meatloaf and potatoes. Unless they don't have it, then I may try steak and. <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns, he's been eating a lot of steak and taters and things in between. He's the SEC freshman of the week for the third time this year in games against LSU and South Carolina, averaging 10 and a half points, eight and a half rebounds, two and a half blocks. Against LSU, he had his fourth double double, 12 points and 13 boards, and he hit two clutch shots down the stretch as the Cats came from behind to win. We'll have all the highlights later on tonight. Back to you. All right, should be a fun game down there in Knoxville. Our time this morning is 641. All right, a lot of you curious, what do the roads look like this morning? And here with an answer with live drive traffic is Officer Don. Hey, Don. Good morning. Well, probably exactly what you would expect this morning. Uh, ice with a layer of snow in most places. Just getting out of your neighborhood is going to be the biggest deal. I got stuck trying to get out of mine for a few minutes, but once you get on the main roads, well, things can be passable, but it's not going to be much better than you would, you would think. Let's get a look outside. In fact, uh, we have some folks out right now checking uh, current road conditions, and, and there we are. You've got, you've got the ice, and you've got snow packed on top of the ice. The biggest deal is just being, is going to be coming to a stop. So uh, just keep that in mind. As far as our Waze map goes this morning, uh, traffic is moving once you get out on the main roads, uh, but it's still slow, as it should be, on the circle. Uh, that's one place, especially between Leestown Road and Versailles Road through the construction zones. And and areas like that. Uh, but uh, for the most part, police are out helping out with stranded motorists. Uh, we had like 450 yesterday that they dealt with, and uh, today will probably be about the same. So just be careful if you do have to travel. Now back to you in the studio. All right, thank you. And uh, that video there really uh, tells the story this yeah. morning. It's, it's a challenge, uh, certainly, uh, if you have to go out this morning. Good to have you with us on WKYT on this Tuesday morning, Fat Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> that's going on as well. Yeah, we should uh, eventful mention that. time. <laughs> And we're looking at weather outside in single digits, even below zero frame for Mount Sterling and northbound. We get the roads clear well, a little bit today, and then guess what? More snow on top of that overnight and into tomorrow. Go over the latest forecast coming up next.